of uh, Uchumi Supermarkets today on Power Lunch, and he seems very optimistic that Uchumi is set uh, for a turnaround. Uh, but there's been a couple of questions going around. Uh, is it the right time for Uchumi to come off receivership, uh, bearing in mind the, you know, the investor sentiment after being off the stock exchange for the last four years? What's your outlook for this particular stock? There's no better time for Uchumi to get out than, than now. Uh, partly because three reasons. One, uh, the economy is just about to pick up. So if there's anything that's going to happen is a lot of turnovers coming through the retail chain. Secondly, I think investors have waited for too long, 006, until today. There's a good reason now that uh, they've been able to vote in the last, uh, last Friday's AGM to get uh, uh, the suppliers to turn their debt into equity. And I think the fact that the government has agreed and that KCB and PTA Bank can take a year to be cleared, I think that's quite positive. Then thirdly, I think investors are looking to be able to trade that stock. It, it's closed at 14.50 in 2.06. Yeah. I think who knows? I mean, the value has increased now. We could be trading at a higher price than that. Momia Sugar was also um, a darling on the stock exchange today. The share price is up one shilling, um, 85 cents. Looking at the global sugar market, they say ex industry experts say the deficit is set to stay. Uh, we could say the same of uh, you know the local sugar situation. What's your outlook for that stock? Uh, for, I, I'm seeing that stock going back to uh, the prices of 15, 16. Because you remember we closed at about 49 uh, before the, the, the bonus came through 1 for 3. So 45 divided by 3, that's about 15. So I think if it gets to 15, 16 bull, we'll be at par with what used to be in 2008 in January. Now coming back to the, to the sugar sector, uh, Mumia is a good stock to invest in. A uh, couple of reasons, but the, 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 the biodiesel uh, coming through, the government is really encouraging uh, the alternative sources of power. And I think Mumia's with the extra uh, byproduct for, the, for that electricity cogeneration, that's one. Secondly, the demand keeps increasing. And I think ac across the commercial region, region where there's been so much uh, supply coming through, I think that uh, that supply is coming down. Mm -hmm. So which means as those countries continue stocking their own uh, markets, uh, trying to pile up their, their, their supplies, I think Kenya is going to be left out for a couple of days. And therefore, the more the demand for Mumias. Then lastly, I think uh, just looking at the global uh, prices of sugar, $750 uh, per, per bag, I think that's quite positive. So for Mumias, for the investors, I think we're looking at Mumias moving from 8 shillings, 10 shillings, all the way to 16 bucks. And what are your top stocks for the week? We've seen investors begin to book gains on Kenya Airways or Faricom, and they've bowed down to the pressure and are easing uh, a little bit. What seems attractive to you right now as the week begins? I, I think this is February, uh, first week of February. We are going to see most companies announcing their results. So one of the key areas to look at is the banking sector. We're looking at KCB, Equity. These are banks which the previous year, they went to Rwanda, they went to South and Sudan. So we want to see how do they fare. Uh, on those new markets. That's one. Secondly, uh, this, this they are also, last year is the year where we saw uh, the, the fiber optic coming through. Mm -hmm. We want to see how Access Kenya has been able to maximize and probably roll out their products and therefore how did it translate into profits last year. So I think those two sectors, banking sector as well as the ICT sector, those are stocks to watch.